What are you making? Who are you making it for? And why the hell are you making it? Today we're going to go over an exercise from the New York Times bestselling author of Perennial Seller, The Art of Making and Marketing Work That Lasts, of how to make a product, a service, a business, a, an education course, a book, a song, whatever it is, how to make something that doesn't just sell for a year or two, but sells for, uh, perennially, year after year for decades. This is an exercise that everyone who's creating anything that you want to sell needs to do. My name is Kirk Double K Barbera, and this is your business book tip of the day. I am making a blank that does blank for blank because blank. That's the exercise. So you could stop the video now and just fill that out. You know, what do you, you know, I'm making a book that, um, uh, that, that does, you know, that, that helps people with depression for four years because I was depressed. So, you know, I'm just making that out. Let me give you a better example. I'm writing a book about depression for the millions of Americans who suffer in silence every year because if I can save a single life, the entire project will be worth it. So this answers the question, why are you doing this? In other business book tips I have, you know, about this book, Perennial Seller, I have been talking about who this is for, what it does, what you should price it for, but this is one of the most important exercises of this book, I believe, and that is the why are you doing this, which encapsulates all of the, the who and the what. So the question of why you're doing it allows you to focus and market your product a little bit better. So let me give you another example and uh, of, of this, this why are you doing this exercise. I am writing a summer anthem for teenagers that uh, makes them roll down the windows and turn the radio up because I miss that feeling and want to bring people together. One of the exam examples he gives is the song um, I believe it's called Fuel by Metallica, which I remember in high school definitely gave me that feeling. Or, or you know, there were certain songs that I had, and I'm sure a lot of you have this, that I just remember I rolled down my windows, I blasted my crappy speakers because it just felt good. Like just driving down and just, it was an amazing feeling. That was not an accident. The people who wrote, you know, Fuel, Metallica, the, the those types of songs, whatever you're into, whatever genres you are into, those types of songs, those summer anthems were engineered purposefully to get you to have that feeling, get you to make that reaction. And it, they worked because they were so clear on that why. You know, I am making a summer anthem, a song for, you know, that for teenagers that makes them roll down the windows and turn the radio up because I miss that feeling and want to bring people together. So that's something that someone like Metallica might write. I am creating an app that helps women track and monitor their pregnancy because there wasn't anything like it during mine and I know I would have paid a ton of money for it. That's another example. When we're talking about perennial sellers, remember, we're looking not only for why we're doing, why we, you know, what we wanna get out of it, but we're looking for what the person can get out of it that buys it and we want to be specific as hell so an example is pregnancy the book what to expect when you're expecting has sold so much because there's always a new batch of women every year who are getting pregnant and so that is a perennial issue that keeps popping up over and over again so when you're creating your why exercise when you're doing this exercise you want to make sure that you're as specific as possible because you want to think about something that occurs all the time and that is very specific. So, you know, that there's a new batch of new individuals that can do this. So there's new teenagers every year. So you can make a summer anthem that sells over and over and over again um, because there's always new teenagers, right? It's, uh, and that's true of anything you create. There's always a new batch of people who just turned 30. So if you want to create something for a 30 year old who doesn't know what to do with their career at this point, create something for that person. Uh, last example I'll give you is I'm writing a film about the poker craze that captures 
what this world is really like because it's a huge scene that everyone else has ignored and I know they will love it. And that is uh, the movie Rounders with Matt Damon, which is a very interesting, good movie if you've ever seen that. Okay, so that's your business book tip of the day, the why do this exercise. Make sure you do that. I would love to see in the comments below what your, you know, what your answer is to this. So my name is Kirk Double K Barbera, and this has been your business book tip of the day. Remember, reading is not a passive sport. It's a contact sport. So go out there and make some contact with great books. Mm -hmm.